All right, guys, welcome back to episode number two of Outer Wilds. Hope you're all doing well. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed my first experience of this game yesterday. I will be completely honest, though. Um, I kind of I am feeling maybe a bit overwhelmed by everything at the minute. I'm sure um, as time goes on, um, things will sort of like settle down and, and neutralize a bit. But I think just like seeing the game for a start and not knowing anything about it and being an open world game, there's so many different options and avenues and directions I can take at this point in the game. So it's kind of a bit overwhelming to know where to go and what to do. So I was kind of thinking about it in between um, the stream from last night and, and today. And I think what we probably need to do is we need to look at the um, the map and we need to look at the, um, the task board thing that there is and sort of like try to pick and focus on like one area at a time and see if we can kind of like solve some of the problems and some of the riddles and, um, you know, see if we can fully explore some of these planets before moving off to the next. I, I think we need to sort of concentrate on one at a time. So I think the best thing to do is to maybe um, focus on the planet we have been um, dealing with up to now and um, see if we can't find where the um, the southern tower is, which um, I believe we was told it's kind of like underneath somewhere. We get access to it underneath um, in the hanging city sort of area. Um, but yeah, my controller has disconnected and turned off. Can I get a purple light? Thank you, I can. So without further ado, once we've loaded, we will jump back in to Outer Wilds. Alrighty then, let's wake up. All right, so, yeah, as I say, I'm assuming everything is still the same, which is good. I still don't know if like the Morse code for the, um, the launch codes means or does or does anything. All right. Okay, so we are going to. I'm going to head back off to. Um, the Brittle Hollow. That's where we're going to head to. And away we go. Got a game audio? Oh. You guys haven't had the menu music this whole time, I apologize. Thanks for calling that out though, Deathwish. Appreciate it. And uh, how the devil are you today? Hope you're well. All right. Now what I did is I muted the, uh, I muted the audio from, um, I muted the audio from going from the, the track to the game. So you guys don't hear me like loading up the game and stuff. I often do that when there's like early, um, stay away from that. Uh, I often do that when there is like early sort of, um, when I'm a little bit early. Uh, I'm trying to just concentrate a minute. Let's see if we can land this. And we're down. Uh, yeah, I often do that when we are, um, after I've done like a, an intro song, just to kind of give a bit of um, separation. Is this, um, this must be Rybeck's ship, I guess. All right, so what do we got here then? So this is the, um, this must be the North Pole, right? What's 
is uh interesting structure. I don't think we can get to it from here. I kind of get the feeling with Brittle Hollow that everything you have everything there is to access you're gonna get sort of like from underneath from from below. What's going on, Leo? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. So possibly like landing the ship here is maybe not the best option. Also, incoming, uh, incoming rocks. Ouch. Is this the um Okay. This must be like the top of where we got to last time, but I don't think we explored this far over here, did we? Southern Observatory is 550 meters in this direction. This uh, is pretty massive. Feeling I'm gonna get absolutely wiped off the face of the planet though soon. Ah, uh, yeah, we're in the black hole. Wait, wasn't I meant to? Oh, there here we are. Yeah, it's here. I was gonna say, wasn't I like meant to? Say I was meant to sort of like find this space station here, wasn't I? So we've wait. Didn't we? Didn't we read all this before? Every warp tower has changed its castle body. Yeah, I'm sure we did before. I thought all the text and everything, though. All the text and everything remained. Well, right, we can have another look though at the um, projection thing down here. Oh no, the projection thing wasn't here though, was it? It was back on Brittle Hollow, that's right. 
So we stand here and we wait for us to align with Brittle Hollow, and then we should get back to there. No, no. Um, it's, it was literally it was like a really tiny part that we didn't have audio for, so I'm not going to be too concerned about it. If I'm honest, crazy. All right, so we are back here at this weird structure, which I'm pretty sure over here was where. We're just in a big walk around, haven't we? Yeah, so over here is where the um where those platforms were, if I remember rightly. The hanging city is fifty meters below. But that looks like it's broken. Yes, we've read that before. Yeah, okay, so this is where yeah, this is where we use things before. So that gives us text on the wall. And so this like takes us like somewhere weird. So log entries remain, but the loops between the loops, but the read text will appear in okay. Earth is this that could happen in here? So I assume this is like some sort of alternate dimension or maybe a planet that we've not been to yet, maybe even. Yeah, it's gonna be another planet. It looks similar. Uh, that's the um, planet we kind of seen from. Um, our home planet, isn't it? So these just kind of look like a way to they kind of just look like a way to see like a different area or I don't think we're looking into a different timeline as such. I'm not sure. So that crazy. Thanks for hanging, buddy. That was pretty lucky, I'll be honest. I don't think we've been up here, though. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like the, its violet friend, Hollow's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Yeah, if there was two volcanic moons and we was always getting uh, like bowls and things fired at us. Hypothesis, there can exist too much lava. I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Is that null lava? This moon is not volcanic to the unaided eye. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's lantern for nights at a time. Oh, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. The night's moon circles this planet. The night's moon circles this planet appear random. Sorry, the night's the moon circles this planet around. I don't know why I read that. So it seems to travel as it likes. Okay. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. All right. So there's... There's a phantom moon then. Okay. Now they say it appears random, but I'm guessing it'll appear at a pre predetermined time and place within the loop. But 
I'm not entirely sure when or where that would be. That's just the way over to there, it seems. Alright, so there's... Alright, so there's quantum fluctuations, it seems, on all of these rocks. Big yikes. And we're dead. <laughs> Note to self. This game does not feature long four boots. Do you, uh, do you guys do some snowboarding often, Mika? Do you snowboard at all? I think snowboarding would be pretty cool. Yikes. I really need to, um... I really need to work on my, um, flying skills a bit more. So I need to find Ryberg, I think. Okay, what's this place over here? So got something over here. We found Escape Pod One, and that's a distress beacon. All right.
Uh, is everyone is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news. At least, at least we have heard from escape. Have we heard from escape pod two or three? All right, so there's two more escape pods somewhere. No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods distress signal. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear to too eager too eager this this planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We're current certain certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Alright. So is this wait, is this like some No my ship? It looks like an upside down Daft Punk helmet to me, but um Okay. Uh, no, I do not. Escape pod one vessel has been more mortally in injured. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2, now launching escape pod 1, which we've found. Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete, minor structural instability detected, pockets of breathable air detected, adequate solar energy detected. The verdict is hospitable. Alright, so, I guess, it would seem like, um... Not all of the escape pods are on the same are, are on the same uh, on Brittle Hollow. Um, and I'm guessing this spaceship crashed after it um, released its escape pods. All right. Emergency escape hatch. Okay, it's not look very safe, I'll be honest. Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Alright, so... Should we just follow this down, I guess? Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so, so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Right, so I guess we're just going to carry on following the path along for now. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix, so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, that Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye's signal called, called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need not we need to not merely survive but thrive this is the wise point plume and eloquently made 
If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. All right, so they're moving to the northern glacier. Is that where the... Um, I'm sure that's where Rybuck's, Rybeck said that where the thing was yesterday. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from volcanic moon eruptions. What if we use gravi gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Oh, okay, so maybe, maybe... Um, well, the the shapes are their their language and their text, Mika. So we have this um, we have this reader tool here that we can decrypt the text, basically. But I guess it's kind of like a similar sort of thing. Um, so I'm wondering if the gra the gravity crystal things they're the things that we saw in the museum, right? So I'm guessing we're going to see some paths in a minute where the um, Gravity crystals and things are. So there was some more text this way, if I remember rightly. Look like they've built like a big old city over here, didn't they? This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No no my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle in the center, much like a pupil. That was the signal, that's what the signal looked like? Okay, I suppose the signal was looking for something. Sure. Totally meant to do that. Settlement is like huge. I'll text in that direction. I just want to get over there though. If we try it with our flashlight. It's the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost. Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Hmm. Feel like we're going down with the ship. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, well. That's a shame. I guess we were like really need to like motor. We really need to motor and we need to like be really vigilant about what we're actually doing there. So, um, not to get caught out by those, um, I don't know if it's worth almost, um, I don't know if it's worth almost like restarting now, restarting the loop and going back. I can't remember where this puts me. I don't think this puts me like anywhere near to where I just was. And if things have already like started to be destroyed, then maybe we're not going to be able to make or get back to the progress we previously made. So, I almost wonder if it's worth restarting the loop 
and then trying again. Um, I would say the only similarities between this and Duskers is probably the fact that it's space exploration. Um, other than that, Mika, I wouldn't really say there's a lot of similarities between the two, if I'm honest. Duskers is more about like um Duskers is more like scavenging. So you go around on ships or yeah, yeah ships in Duskers. You go around in ships, uh, on ships, sorry, and um you're basically scavenging what you can to survive. I don't think there's particularly a lot of scavenging. going on around here at the minute. So this is... Uh, we haven't been in this place before, have we? Oh, that's... Um, that's inside that tower, isn't it? All right, let me go get the stone back and we can read some more text about this. We've definitely not been to this place before. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to Quantum Moon. That's exciting, you're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. Is this talking about like all the underground paths, I guess? My gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. Follow the path to the west. All right, one one thing, one thing here. I'm um, a little bit confused about and don't know exactly. So that's uh, that's coming in hot. That uh, the Clyber there, isn't it? And Brittle Hollow is pretty pretty destroyed. Um, How do I tell which way is north? Is it a case that I, I guess like red, either red or blue is north or south, right? But I don't know if I know which is which. Okay, so I need to reverse that somehow. This this structure here reminds me of the um, reminds me of the Gherkin in London. So I think the sun's about the stars about to blow up, isn't it? Might be wrong. Uh, no, I don't want the answer to tell me uh, Leo. I th I'm pretty sure I'll, I should probably work that out for myself. This kind of looks a bit like the um, the place on our home planet, doesn't it? Oh, we've been here before, though. This is some observatory. Yeah, no, we've been this way before. 
So wait, if that's the Southern Observatory... If this is a, if this is pointing us towards the Southern Observatory, then I dare say red is north and blue is south. Ninety thousand airboats, Mika. Mika's got all the airboats. So I don't know if this is because it's wrecked, but I guess we're going to go over here. So I guess this is the Southern Observatory, right? Or at least it was. Am I stuck here? That's the black hole down there, right? So... Yeah, we don't want to go down there. Can we drop down here? I don't see anywhere else to go. Also, my ship is uh, a long way away. It's floating away in space. It's not good. All right, let's... Um I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe I should have got... If I could get down here quicker, maybe there would be more to it. But because, like, the whole planet is kind of, like, pulling itself apart and disintegrating, I think I'm stuck here. I mean, there's that, like funnel thing there, but I don't think I can use that. There really doesn't seem like there's anywhere for me to go from here. Facebook's changed its name to be Meta? What? Really?
and we're dead. What is that thing? There. No! So close. <laughs> so close. Alright, so... What are we going to go for here? We explored quite a lot there. I think we need to like go back to... I think we need to go back to like the... Um, that city we was first exploring. Let's take a look at our map as well and um, the rumours and whatnot because I'm sure we're going to have a lot of um, different bits and pieces here. So we've got the mines. Yeah, there's loads of stuff here, look. So this is what we were looking at here, wasn't it? The three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel, which was badly damaged. Constructed temporary settlement beneath the crashed escape pod. Worked together to recall an eye-shaped sig signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned the settlement over growing concerns about its stability. And there's more to explore there. Yeah, well, we kind of got yeeted off the face of the uh, the rock there. So, um, let's um, set that to there. We've got a rumored entry for the Hanging City. Nomai decided to migrate from the old settlement to the northern glaciers. They used gravitational crystals to crash the stable path between beneath sorry, the surface. There's a huge Nomai city just to the north of Rybex campsite. All right. So this is the sort of thread we're kind of worrying, uh, like focusing on at the minute. There is still like a whole load of other, the, all these other webs are kind of like um, starting to become... Right, so I want that on my HUD. So hopefully, if I got, if I understand this right, that should now tell me. That should now point me in that direction, right? Still really terrible at this whole flying business. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's repair the landing gear. Alright, but thankfully we have landed right where we need to be. As long as they don't die, you say it's all good. Yeah, I stopped using Facebook years ago. It got to a point where I wasn't even like... I wasn't even like using Facebook as such. All I was doing on Facebook was... Um, I don't want to keep reading things over again. Well, literally, the only time I went on Facebook was to clear, my, clear the notifications off my phone. Right, so we've been that way.
Okay. Oh, this is interesting. So, it almost looks like the ship found a signal, then it was consumed by something, and then it shut off the escape pods. Right? That's what I'm getting from that. Uh, I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? So was it the vessel like a living kind of ship thing? No. An owner and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we, are, where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Okay. So what I don't know at this point in time is... I don't know if, like, the other escape pods are here. Oh, there's gravity crystals, look. Alright, so we need to get away over to there, it seems. That's our... Check it out here, I think. Ah, oh, but then, okay. Some of the gravity crystals have gone there. Hopefully, we'll still be able to use them. Okay, so I, I completely missed these gravity crystals last time. Out. All right, so this is going to take me all the way over to the glacier, I guess. I'm not sure I like the look of that. I thought it was going to take me straight to the black hole then, but no, we're still good. We are still good. Wait, do I just get turned around somewhere? so okay I found some more here so this looks like like a secondary oh wait a second aren't these the yeah Okay, so I don't know how to get past the ghost matter at the minute. So I'll have to go round. For the time being. Why do I get the impression that um, you thought you'd broken something, Leo? Black Hole Forge District, Eye Shrine District, Meltwater District, and School District. Okay. So 
this one is the school district, right? Find a tree. Oh, yeah, there's uh, I, I totally get that impression. Uh, I can't remember what this one was. can um, traverse this direction. I mean, it does look like there's stuff over there. But... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's... Um, safe path to go, if I'm honest. We're in trouble though, we need to find some oxygen. And pretty quick. Now the issue I'm seeing is that it looks like a lot, there are some trees down here, but it looks like they're all kind of like dead. Which doesn't help my cause. The black hole forge controls. Huh. Oh, that's the, um, okay, yeah, I, I see what that is. Oh, whew, that's clutch. We were so very close to death there, I think. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful and highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Yeah. I wonder if like positioning that in like a different position would put in a different position would um, give me anything different, but it doesn't seem like there are some more scrolls here though. Solution two: we could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. So, the vessel is like some sort of hive or of knowledge or something? I'd very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic core design. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest plan the best one? Our goal is our goal is worth the risk. The greatest challenge here, I think, 
is we don't have, have the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Pope was a was a pr apprenticed apprenticed to Ano Anona, who created the original design, and our black hole forge is adept at crafting smaller cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anoa explained many of his designs to me. Is this one is it worth the risk? Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. Okay. Like there's some um, conflicting um, some conflicting parties here. I feel strange trying to recreate and I was warp core without him. At times it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice and for the black hole forge to be in my care and not his. Hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor and deeply. To have the chance to try it is try it is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably, but what if excitement has crowded my assessment? Of my own ability. Sorry, the coffee's clearly not working because it's making me yawn already. So this is like um, his thoughts. He's written down like his thoughts and feelings about all oh, this person. So I don't know if it's a male or female, but they've written down their thoughts and feelings of like um, how they feel about kind of like being in charge and taking over somebody else's project sort of thing. Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw a Noah's warp core with my own and three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? It's an interesting way of saying bitten off more you can chew. Still, all I can give is my best, and as Anoa would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what is needed. I have clary and root in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Yeah, have a bit of self-belief, dude. And today's final boss, stairs. What? Why? What is stopping me on these stairs from like going? Weird. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core vessel, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble Plume. Plume, my father, said not said many good Nomi Nomi perished there. Right, so they're not keen on going back to Dark Bramble. My mentor, Calias, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Ember on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the angler, anglerfish entirely. I remember the anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. What Melloray and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still perhaps we could still repair it. 
My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if, it's long, even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint provided we're able to transport it back to here. Alright, so they're still not really sure as to which solution to take. They had two solutions, so they could either build one from scratch or they could try and retrieve the one from um, the vessel, it seems. Okay. So how do we... So that's the forge, right? Not sure though how we would get over there. It kind of looks like there's, or there used to be at least, like a higher or another way to get even higher here. But it looks like the whole platform and everything is kind of like broken off, as you can see. The um, chamber here. That's a sign that I wasn't meant to do that. The fact it keeps kicking me back down. Yeah, that's a no-no, isn't it? Alright, so I don't really know... Really know... Where we go from here. Could we have used the forge maybe to as like a way to travel? All right, gravity crystals here. I think this is just the way we came in, wasn't it? Okay, so we've got a scroll here.
Explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learnt in science and art. It's called the festival. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years, okay? We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too. Like a Noah's warp core, which made it so everyone could warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy, a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy is, was Fatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. Okay. Formation of the universe? Wait, what? No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger, until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Con Conoy tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Yeah, he starts thinking about um, intense topics like that. They can soon start to um, run some of that ghost matter nearby, which I think is. Yeah, I saw that down there, which was stopping us from getting over here. But we we managed to like jump onto the roof to avoid it and go round some ghost matter down there which we need to be careful of there is an elevator here which we can use to go up it seems I think however we probably don't want to go we'll have more fun more success even going over here we've just got to be careful of that Ghost matter. So at the minute we don't know how to. We don't know how to deal with it, so. Yes, I think it, um, that's a, a fair comment, Mika. Definitely. Alright, so there's another scroll here. Um, I need to remember though where we can actually like read these scrolls. Yeah, so these are like the, these scrolls, I think. Uh, this kind of looks, looks, looks. I guess this is the school. It's like laid out like the school, isn't it? But yeah, these, scroll, these scrolls are what kind of like contains all the information that we can read. Why should we build a new vessel? 
Each Nomai can, clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. It's unusual for Nomai to remain in one place for so long. Nomai are wanderers and have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in this dollar system. We could even meet with other Nomai and learn from them, like Kalias says we used to do. It probably won't be hard to get the parts if we stop building other new things, and if we broke down other structures like the towers on Ash, Ash Twin for parts. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large, but we could make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. It would also help if we stopped building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yarrow and he says we use lots of resources on the Ash Twin project. We could even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Poke tells me she plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure she connect, could connect to the vessel for travel because Poke is smart. I think that's the end of uh, the loop. then okay so what do we know so far so this current clan of Nomai were out adventuring they came across like a signal which was the eye or something and something happened to their ship um to which their escape pods were lodged. Oh, is that what's happening there? Is that what's happening like when we first like wake up? Is that their ship breaking apart and then escape pods being shot from it? Hmm. So anyway, they um, crash landed, Escape Pod 1 crash landed on that planet, and then they built, hold on, no thing about this. I don't think, sorry, I'm like backtracking. I don't think that would be the Escape Pod and the ship breaking up because they, won't, they wouldn't have had time to build that whole entire um, infrastructure in that short space of time, would they? So it kind of, wouldn't make sense. So no, what what happens there, Mika, is I I think it's like the the best way I can kind of describe it um is um it's like a supernova occurring. So I think the the star is like it's it's is blowing up basically. The star is coming to the end of its life, and the supernova event occurs, which is just basically wiping out the entire um, galaxy. Um. But for some reason, we are stuck in a loop, which I, I don't know why we're stuck in a loop, but we are. And um, every time that occurs, we go back to the beginning of the loop and we start it all over again. But obviously, as we go through um, each iteration of the loop, we kind of like we've learned more and more about um, the people and the environment and everything else that's going on. So we can kind of like advance our exploration based on what we've learned before. I think that's, I don't know, Leo, would you say that's a, would you say that's like a, a, a good analogy from like a, an early on perspective of the game? So, um, yeah, it's, well, yeah, you, you could just sort of like package it up as uh, Groundhog Day, yeah. So yeah, each time we start the loop, we know more from the previous loop, so we can then like 
explore more or find out more. Um, I don't really, I, I, I honestly, I don't know what, I have no clue whether or not there is even an end game or whether it is completely open-ended um, in like a sense, almost like Minecraft is like, you know, you kind of, you can go through Minecraft, you can play, you can go and defeat like all the end dragons and the big bosses and things like that. But the game just carries on and on and on and on and on. Um, and you can just keep going and going and going. I don't know if there is like a, a definite, a, a definite end game um because obviously i was just thought thinking through my head there like we could put let's um let's just go back to the game get some ambience at least um and let's pull up the camera i really need to sort out my uh, hotkeys and stuff so yeah the um um I was just thinking there in my head while I was talking about all of that, about could we like go back to the museum and could we talk to some of the other um, inhabitants of this island, uh, this planet, sorry. But I kind of guess not because we shouldn't, although we do, we shouldn't probably shouldn't really know anything. So I kind of think like if we were to like try and talk to anybody, on this planet about what's going on or what we've been going through we kind of got it laughed off like laughed off and like oh you know how do you know that you know you've you've not been to space how do you know all this sort of stuff but at the same time it, it, it's kind of weird because how can we how do we like bring this knowledge back surely there must be a way to bring some of this knowledge back to these people um i'm all, all also wondering like whether or not there is a way to actually stop the supernova event um it should be which is pretty interesting but yeah for sure this this game has seriously like got my um it's got my my interest there's a uh, clearly like a lot of exploration i don't know if even if we can go to i don't even know if we can go to like other solar systems or other galaxies and things um or whether or not we're just like literally stuck on this one solar system just to explore here i mean if there's more then this game must be like absolutely huge um but i guess in time that will all come and i mean the other thing we've got to think as well is like we've literally just been focusing on one of the planets as well there's so much to explore on the other planets so um yeah um we will go back to that uh, momentarily all right anyway after that short intermission let's head back into the uh, fun also not playing keyboard I am playing on controller yo Sam what is going on you just missed a giveaway unfortunately but welcome along hope you're doing well I've seen you for a little bit all right so we've um Quite a bit here. Quite a bit indeed. All right, so we're going to focus on. The, I think. I think the best thing to do though is like focus on this branch for now. Uh, so the black hole forge suspended below the hanging city. I found a switch in the meltwater district that raises and lowers the forge. The forge district is the highest district in the hanging city. The Nomai name poked plan to create a new advanced warp core in the black hole forge. Now my mind ores from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, the Nomai checked to ensure there were no more there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. The central chamber inside the Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. I guess the to to the question question marks are just yeah, the question marks are rumours that we haven't yet confirmed. So anything that's a question mark, we kind of like need to go and explore a bit more and um, um, we need to like explore more so that we can like get rid of the, the question marks and actually get uh, concrete um, theories or rumours. The game so far, Sam, is fantastic. I've really been enjoying it. Um, didn't really know what to expect because I didn't know anything about the game. But yeah, no, it's um, it's great absolutely fantastic really loving it so far 
and um, we're starting to make inroads at least in into some of this uh, bit and these bits and pieces um, trying to get through what I think are the worst of the bunch but hopefully ones hopefully one here and there are decent enough to play yeah you can't I, well I don't know I don't know but at the minute we there's no way of stopping the supernova so it just basically um, resets the loop and then we start again all right so that's about the forge which we looked at uh, then I might learn how to evade anglerfish theoretically at least by studying an anglerfish fossil they found on ember twin um, then I believe there. I think we've already read this. Somewhere. No balance and overgrown concerns of its stability. Yep. So we've done that. Mirror of the three escape pods evacuating the vessel. Mirror of the dark bramble and snarling. Yeah. Okay. So dark bramble basically um, smothered the ship. And then that. Yeah. So like I said, they encountered the signal. It got smothered by something, and then the escape pods were released. One of the three escape pods landed somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. Okay. One of the three pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. Okay, so there's one Dark Bramble and there's one on the Hourglass Twins. The Nomai warped this this solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal of the Eye of the Universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The Vessel's warp core broke and the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Okay, so do we... It's divided vertically into four districts. I found some of its... Uh, yeah, okay, so we did that. We read that. So there's still more to explore in the Hanging City. Okay, so maybe we head back to uh, the Hanging City then. And... Uh, see what we can find. Um, actually, let's... Before we head off... Can I... Oh, the quantum moon is there. Observe the phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. Church research notes mention a quantum moon that no Harthian had been able to land on. Okay. So they're, they're the hourglass twins, I guess, because they look, they're look they connected by something and they kind of look a bit like an hourglass, right? That's where we are right now. Right, it says you can't get into the observatory from the surface, but there is probably a path to it beneath the crust. So yeah, we haven't been to the observatory yet. We haven't been to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. There's more to explore there. The Hanging City and the Forge. Alright, so I think we need to go back to. Alright, I wonder if there's like a quicker way to get back to here though. The Hanging City is it's underneath this glacier here, isn't it? Is there a way we can get to this glacier from 
under the glacier from at the top. Kind of like what I want to really find out. There's the first of the escape pods. The other problem is if we leave it too long and too much of the surface breaks up and then we lose our opportunity to get back to the Hanging City, if I remember rightly. Are we dead or are we in the black hole? We're in the black hole. In the ship. <laughs> All right, so the cockpit was damaged. So I assume I can replace the, I can fix the cockpit right out here, right? I don't think anything else is broke, so let's head on back to the ship. To be fair, I think I did that pretty well. All right, so we're all the way on the other side of the solar, of the solar system here, so let's go. I'm almost always, I'm also interested in whether or not we can actually land on the, um, uh, on the moon. Yeah, I'm not quite, um, I'll be honest, I'm not quite up to speed with like approaching planets and slowing things down in bits and pieces.
Right, the black hole is like seriously pulling me up, pulling me in here, isn't it? This was a bad idea. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. Well. Yeah, I, I I'm yet to do it. Although I have got the um, have got the um, soundtrack on Steam as a part of uh, version I have. So, but yeah, the music from what I've heard so far has been like on point. No. Uh, I'll be completely honest, I think I've kind of like messed this up a little bit. I think I've now wasted like far too much time to be able to do anything useful in this um, in this attempt. No mistakes, you say. I think that was a bit of a mistake. So Roebuck is directly below me. Hanging City. It's down there. Land on your fire. Well, so then the Nomai probably came from here from somewhere outside the solar system and they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. So I find the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timberhearth. Timberhearth. You know somewhere somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. And the Hanging City on Brittle Hollow. You visit the Hanging City. Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. 
why they choose to build why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to you know what is beyond me i'll see the black hole maybe that kind of thing makes sense for the nomai though maybe they needed the black hole for something yeah so Not the black hole. Hanging city to the, just to the north. Also a big dome on the south pole called the observatory. All right, so we think we said before, right? The observ the the north was red and the south was blue. I think we said so. <laughs> Got a little toasty. I wanted to join the marshmallows, Sam. Do marshmallows replenish my health? Not sure. Alright, so the hanging seat is that way. So we want the observatory, which is south. See, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge is that way, it's west, but I don't think we can. I don't think we can do anything with the tower, can we? I don't know. I kind of feel like this is just going to take me to... Oh, this is new. I haven't seen this before. Huh. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part of part to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up this path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down, so I can refill my tank. Okay, so this is a, a little map. Look, they've got a cross, the crossroads here, uh, with the different direction. So this must be the Gravity Canyon. Gravity Crystal Workshop. Is that direction? All right. I make an hours. That's the hanging city. Must mean the observatories. That's the gravity canyon. It's like our ship is uh, floating around in orbit again. When you try to go somewhere and you just get sucked up by the black hole. Hate to see it. going to lead to the same sort of place. I 
We need to get to like the Oh, what's this? Is that the Tower of Knowledge? I feel I've been here before, but I don't think I have. That's the crossroads. Shuttle is currently resting at Quantum Moon. Ah, what shuttle? Which shuttle? Activate the gran gravity can cannon. Call the shuttle home. Um, all right, we need to get here before um, everything starts to fall apart then. What am I even being, what, what? Is that the like the back of the black hole? Is that what we come through? Yeah, that must be the black hole. Okay. It's um interesting. And these are just like parts of the frickin' Yeah, they're just parts of the um, terrain that have come through the black hole, aren't they? Which is just sort of floating around in space. Don't really think there's much more to... Alright, well, I don't really think we're going to get up to much more this time around. Other than maybe dying in a moment. Through lack of oxygen. So, yeah, I think we'll just like float here for a minute in space. So, yeah, we, we can get that shuttle so it said that the shuttle was on the quantum moon right now I don't know if that means we can um, have easier access to the quantum moon hmm does it mean? So we've got more to explore at the Hanging City. 
We've also got like the the shuttle place now to explore. We just need to like learn how to get to these places quicker. Which I think is like the key at the moment. We're we're taking a lot of time to kind of like get to places and like the initial exploration of places. So that then when we actually get to them, we don't have a lot of um we don't actually have a lot of time to actually explore them. So Welcome back, Mika. Alright, the gravity cannon, that's where we need to head to. I recall a Nomai shuttle from I recall a Nomai shuttle from the Quantum Moon. Alright, so let's head over to that and recall it again. out the way of the, uh, the old volcanic moon. I think we want to be over here. like a better way to oh I remember coming here before actually this place is familiar. Because of the rock. So that's the tower shard. I'm sorry, I, I'm not really like 100% sure what the, um, what all of those are for as such. But I get the impression that they're almost like waypoints that we can use to quickly identify places. I might be wrong. Uh, right, we need to find a way. Observatory. This is what we need. Is it? I 
Uh, maybe it's not where I wanted to go. I kind of get a bit disheartened that, like, there's certain instances where you can go to places and like this uh, and it's probably just like it could just be a case that it's this this one instance but it's kind of like you get to this place and it feels like a red herring all right the crossroads i want to go to the crossroads There's the cannon over there. I think we want to head up here. Pretty sure we used these um, gravity crystals to climb the wall last time. the city so. gravity cannon this way all right there it is So we're coming to it from a different side this time. I don't know if that makes much of a difference. I think we've been here before, haven't we? Yes. Pretty sure. I wonder if... The, oh, actually... Because this is so close, I wonder if this is where the shuttle is... No, this was the insight into this place, wasn't it? The Tower of Knowledge, I think this is. We need to get to the gravity cannon. There is no way to reverse that polarity. Okay, we have landed the ship. The shuttle. Alright. 
I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is and we are. I am ready. Dark mode forever. Okay, so now we get it out. So... How do we do this? Back in the thingy then. Okay, so what if we just like stay on here then? Are we just floating out? Are we just floating randomly into space or? Kind of feels that way at the moment. It kind of looks like the Phantom Moon as well, maybe. I just don't know if we're like... I am but confused. So we came back to Earth with a bang there. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. We need to wait until whatever we're looking for, the phantom moon, I guess, is like aligned with us.
Yeah, I... I'm certainly missing something with this. See that, Mika. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Catch you next time. Alright, so what does this do? Also, that's disappeared now. That's interesting. Okay, so I think this is the same as this this must this on the outside must be the same controller mechanism. As on the inside. Whereby we can either fire do nothing or return it to the cannon. I think, I think we need to head to the observatory. And I think if we can head to the observatory, maybe that will help us to see and identify the moon. That's what I'm thinking, at least, at the moment. Now again, though, I don't know if we've left it now. Too late in the day. To be trying to find this thing. See, this is where we got to before, wasn't it? When we was looking for the observatory before. And we got to here, and we was like, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, everything done did broke, but we didn't take notice of these before. Did we? Midnight, my MySQL thing has uh, taken over my screen. I 
Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay. And we're dead. <laughs> Man, I gotta work out how to get to the um I gotta work out how to get to the um observatory. Now I have what looks like a solid lead, you say, Leo. Hmm. Scout headed towards the um the quote unquote sun. Watch this supernova. Boom. All right, so let's. Oh man, we're, we went through the uh, portal thing. That light is blinding. Okay, so. Um, let's head to the South Pole. And. See if we can't. Um, see if we can't get to the observatory. We need to get to the observatory. Because I, I feel like. If we get to the observatory, we will be able to find the moon that we're looking for here.
Okay, there's the observatory. That's the south. There's no way to access it from the top, is there? Okay. Now, gravity crystals were up there, weren't they? That's it. Okay. So let's jump on these gravity crystals. I see these are going the wrong way, that's the problem. I don't feel like this was the right path to take. We're heading towards the north right now. Do we like reaching the, um, the crossroads? Maybe I can't remember if the, right we come across the crossroads this way, or if this just leads to like the city. I think it's the latter. Well, that was unfortunate. Alright, let's get back over there. This must be where Roebuck landed. The journey from here to the South Pole has been um I'm going with harrowing because of all because of the um all the meters. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and I'm not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little. There's some sort of old no know my path that starts across from my camp campsite inside the ruined building with the trees growing out of it. 
Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path to see where it leads. First time to do stuff with the energy crystals here then. So there's a building with the trees going in it, and he said there was some stairs downwards. Be here. Okay, I think I know where I am now. Yeah, okay, I know where I am. Okay, so we are looking for... That's the way back to Roebuck. A city. I think if we head towards... Uh, I see the... No, we want to go that way. I think if we head to the um, gravity cannon first, I think there was a, a way to the um, observatory from the gravity cannon, wasn't there? Pretty sure. Definitely starting to. We've, I've definitely learned, and um, that's a crossroads. I've definitely learned how to sort of like traverse a lot quicker using this. Uh, using like jetpack and jump. All right. Alright, so we've just got to work out how to get onto these freaking crystals, right? That's not great. Okay, let the Let's follow the gravity shards.
Okay. Where do I go from here? That's the question. This looks promising. Okay. Every time I kind of like make a, a bit of progress, I get nervous because, especially when I'm looking for like the next bit of progress, which is like over there, I kind of feel like I should have maybe traversed the rocks over here. Just up there, it seems, but not to worry. Wasn't to know that was there, but I'll try and keep that noted for next time. I'm sure, there will be a next time. Big jump here. All right, what on earth have we got here? I'm here, I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that sh in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken and I know I'm not great at exploring. But I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. P probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try and find a way down. So wait, hold on. Where is, where is this from? From where his ship was? Oh. So was, was there a way down here? Or can it only be open from the inside? I, guess we'll only get to find out hmm I don't know I guess we'll only we'll get to find out in time we can always try that in the next loop all right so the Giant's Deep Projection Stone. Conway, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and one somehow sank down below, beneath the current. I wonder if that's the black hole that's pulled that through. Conway, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon component to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Cassava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of the Giant's Deep of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Conoy, I'm not able to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I 
If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon, which is the way we came, and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which we still have to um, obviously look at. All right, let's take this back. <coughs> Excuse me, and let's have a look at Giant's Deep. All right, so as uh, as I thought, Ooh, yo, can I stand on here? Is that safe to stand on there? I didn't come all this way though, Leo. <laughs> Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones of Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Svart and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Casanova Cassava, sorry, typically uses to send components into orbit. So these are like the funnels here. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Well, maybe it's not that, but it's... So... Clockwise, clockwise one will send it will, will send it up. <laughs> My gratitude, Spire. Conoy is showing me your handiwork, and I am intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giants Deep. Also, I, I'm very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these are just like the simulations, I guess. And then if we would try to... Uh, okay, and this one it just pulls us down. All right, excellent. Okay. Oh, it's building like a build like a planetarium thing here. Like a model of the solar system. What have we learnt thus far in search for the Eye of the Universe? Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atoll Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal, possibly. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware I grew of hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were to the when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Okay. 
Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected. Matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Okay, so that's... Um... Okay, so what we've um, activated here is a way to try and detect where the eye is. Okay. I get you. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? With a scout, of course. Uh, we know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we tried to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around the celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Oh, so that's the gravity cannon. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest away. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. As we can find the eye's signal using two different devices built for the exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for the problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? So what are they working on? Okay, so we've we've been around here everywhere. Okay, so quite unfortunately the we don't seem to be any closer or we don't be we don't seem to be understanding at least or i don't seem to be understanding um where the um or how we find the quantum moon Which is what I was kind of hoping we would find here. And also, no, we can't access this from out there. I just locked myself out of the... Um locked myself out it's fantastic that must be the phantom moon right there no that's not the phantom moon that's um Phantom Moon? I guess it could be. to now be in a position to launch the um, disappeared. Maybe it is. 
Yeah, that I, I purposely saw that I could do that, so um, I kind of purposely um, shut it and then went back inside. It's my home planet, isn't it? Alright, well, I think we're about to... Um, I think the world is about to end again. The ship is floating off in the distance. The music is ramping up and that normally kind of means that we're um, about to see the event again. Seems like the... Uh, it's starting to like get a weird shape around the, uh, the outside, so... Um... Yeah, so we'll we'll watch the event, we'll redo the loop, and then we'll just have a quick look at all the logs and everything just to um, basically catch up on exactly where we are at the moment. But um, I feel like we've made relatively good progress. Um, Look at that light, that's like awesome. Yeah, I'm still not quite sure like how we're gonna how we pinpoint the um the quantum moon. I almost feel like I need to well, first of all, I kind of feel like I need to like actually work out which whether that what I think is the quantum moon is actually the quantum moon, and then I guess I kind of like need to almost wait and look to see whether or not um, or how often it appears. I mean, the what we read before it they just kind of said it was. A bit random, didn't it? Which I don't believe it would be random. Uh, compared to some of the signals, this point that the failure to detect signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. The new more sensitive locator, the note. No, my bill in this observ observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. Okay. Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for, its, look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Most cyclones and giants deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones that Nomai used to send components into orbit. There are also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction the, and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Okay. So we still have a couple of bits and pieces here. I've got the a couple of rumors. Nomai decided to construct a probe cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Right, so have we actually seen the probe cannon in orbit? Because I actually thought this was the um, the orbit cannon thing, but it's not, is it? So, okay. Hal says, Gabro went back to Giant's Deep to try and learn about the Nomai statue in the observatory. Okay, so we've got to go back and speak to Gabro then, I guess, as part of this. And no, my named Sol Solanum landed a shuttle on the moon, uh, which I think we knew anyway. We still don't really know much more about it. There's her shuttle on Quantum Moon South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to Quantum Moon always arrive at the South Pole for reasons unknown. Yeah, we've still not been to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. 
Strange rock shard in the grove that moves when not watching. It emits a signal of quantum fluctuation frequency. I found a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. Did that rock move? I don't remember that rock moving. Hmm. So, okay, so looking at where we are right now, each cylinder of sushi that generates a strong upward gravity field, I recalled I know my shuttle from the quantum moon. There's still more to explore there. So we've still got quite a bit to explore um, in and around um, this planet. The White Hole Station, the High Energy Lab. Negative time and the White Hole Station was further investigated. The High Energy Lab in the canyon at the Ember Twins. Okay, so we haven't been to the Ember Twins yet, but that's um, so yeah, that's um, explored uh, in a different. Still more to explore at the Hanging City. But yeah, um, so the orbital probe cannon is not the same as the gravity cannon, I guess. So um, we'll probably need to look at the um, need to look at this a little bit more to see whether or not we can see anything else that's like orbiting the the planet as such. But um, yeah, we're getting quite a little bit on our board here, as you can see. Um, there is no way to there's no way to sort of pinpoint that is there so we will have to uh, keep investigating and uh, see what we can come up with but um, guys that is going to bring us to the end of the stream tonight thank you very much everybody for hanging it's been a pleasure as always We've um, certainly delved even deeper into Outer Wilds tonight, and uh, I think some of our exploration has certainly paid off. The stream will be back tomorrow night, guys, but not for Outer Wilds. We'll be back with Portal 2, and we'll be trying to get our head around Machine from Sheepdog finally before we can then move on to hopefully other maps, but we'll see how well we get on tomorrow but uh, until then guys enjoy the rest of your day whatever time of day it is for you and until next time i've been knock you've been awesome stay safe and as always happy gaming thanks guys goodbye